All right, guys, it's G-Shock Square time. So big thanks to Josh for allowing me to check this out. I like my squares, and this is one that I have not had on the channel yet. This is the DW5610. And it's not the one zero like my solar one, because this is non-solar. So it's a 5610SU. Now the SU stands for Street Utility. This was actually it's still available. I'll put a link down below to G-Shock. You can still pick these up. They're $110. Great watch. It's using the base module 3229. So non-solar. Uh, there's no uh, multi-band six. There's no Bluetooth or anything like that. It's a base module one that you'll see in a lot of special edition ones or like this high vis one I have here. I think it's actually even in the Budweiser one I have and the initial D one that I have. But in this case, it's more of just a colorway combo here. So you have basically a darker, almost black, but a really dark gray with a lighter uh, battleship gray, kind of military looking colors. So 42 millimeter case on this guy, 48.5 millimeter lug to lug, if you call those, about 12 and a half, 12.8 millimeter thick and weighing in at only 52 grams it's going to be extremely comfortable and versatile for everyday use work casual whatever you want to do it it'll do it exercise whatever you want to do and uh, affordable so here's a look at the case back 200 meter water resist using like i said the module two three two two nine i'll go through the functions real quick dw 5610 su street utility this is not one of the newer models that is uh, you know, an upgraded version of the 5610 I have over there on the stand. So I will get one of those in eventually. This is not one of those. Uh, downsides has the smaller buttons versus the larger buttons that's on the uh, newer metal capped versions. And that adjust button is recessed. It's a kind of a bugger to push down to be able to adjust everything. Not a huge fan of that. I'm kind of surprised G-Shock still using that. They need to ditch that ASAP. So if you go through the functions, obviously in this configuration, you have the day, Wednesday, eighth month, 11th day. Those newer ones, you'll be able to switch those. Uh, PM, 643, 38 seconds. So first mode goes to alarm. Then you have your um, stopwatch. Wait, that first one was a tra uh, countdown timer, excuse me. This is your stopwatch. So you, uh, that's a light. How do you start it? It's, uh, the, these are pretty intuitive. You just hit buttons, right? This one's a light down here. So this one started the stopwatch, and then you stop it there, and then to reset it, you probably hit adjust, which is a pain in the butt to, see what I mean? Like I have a little bit of nails and I still can't get in there. So anyway, go back to mode and you're back to the regular time pretty simple function that bugs me I, I mean look how recessed that is you can't get in there like you need something I mean I have and you gotta like hold it down and I don't know I'm not a huge fan of that even the uh, high vis watch I have over there has a oh no that's recessed in there pretty dang good too is that one too this one's not as bad. This one I can get at, but you almost never need to change anything on this because it's multi-band. Anyway, here it is on my wrist, seven and a quarter inch wrist. When you start messing around with different colorways in the squares, you're really just going after fashion or whatever your preference is on the look. Because bottom line is you can pick up the $40 uh, DW5600E or whatever. And it's the same module. It does exactly the same thing uh, in a lot cheaper, less than half the price. So is this one worth spending the extra money, $70? Then, you know, if you can justify it, go for it. But is it needed? No, absolutely not. Plus on the 5600E, you get the positive display, which is easier to read. I don't have a problem reading the negative display, but Maybe as I get older, my eyes won't adjust to it as easy. I mean, it's pretty clear that the positive display is slightly easier to read. And then when you get into the newer, like full metal G-Shocks and everything, the screens are better. They just are more visible. And I 
suspect over time they'll slowly progress through and improve all that. So let's kill the lights. I'll show you the uh, backlighting on this. Bottom right button is going to go ahead and illuminate it. Nice green illumination, plenty visible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bit.